So we're going to start with the diaphragm, the heart and the lung reflexes. The diaphragm runs all the way across from zone 1 all the way to zone 5, just underneath the ball of the foot. Um, and I'm going to show you three techniques um, to work the diaphragm line. Firstly though, we hold, our, um, hold the foot with our holding hand, with our fingers on the dorsal aspect of the foot, and we place our fingers of our working hand just gently on top of the fingers of the holding hand. And then I'm going to thumb walk across the diaphragm, following the diaphragm line. Now if you want to, with your holding hand, you can twist down onto the thumb as your thumb walking. And then the third alternative is to place your thumb upright and with your holding hand twist the foot down onto the thumb so that you get nice and deep into the reflexes. You then swap hands and you come back the other way. And once again, I'm showing you all three techniques here. If you prefer to just thumb walk though, that's absolutely fine. So we're now going to work the heart reflex. And remember, this is the emotional heart as well as the physical heart. And the heart reflex, um, we're going to thumb walk from the medial edge of the foot all the way across zone one just underneath the base of the big toe. And we're going to thumb walk down to just below the big toe joint, and just above the diaphragm line. And as we come down, we thumb walk under, round and up. And we thumb walk up between toes one and two from the diaphragm line to the base of the toes. Now this reflex here is our trachea, our esophagus and also our thyroid helper reflex. It's a line so we do it three times and then we move on to thumb walk up between toes two and three and you can see that with my holding hand I'm gently separating the toes just so that we can get plenty of access. And these are our lung reflexes. And then going to thumb walk. Um, zone 5, all the way from the base of the little toe down to the diaphragm line. And then once again I'm going to come down, under, round and up between zones 4 and 5. And then we're going to travel back the other way. Gently pulling the toes apart each track three times from the diaphragm line up to the base of the toes. And then once we've covered all of that area, we use both our, both our thumbs to thumb walk and crisscross all the way across the chest area, just to make sure that we've covered all of the reflexes. And then we swap feet. So remember when we swap feet, not to lose contact with the feet and to maintain contact at all times. So onto the left foot and to start with diaphragm 
Again, I will show you all three techniques. And the reason that we start with the diaphragm so early on in the treatment is because if your client is tense or stressed, sometimes the diaphragm can become tense, which negatively impacts our breathing. So by working the diaphragm first, you can relax your client and help them to breathe more freely and help them to relax into the treatment. Into the heart. And just as we did before, we come under, round and up between toes one and two. And then just as we did on the right foot, we are going to bum walk the whole of zone five, just here. And we come down and round, gently separating the toes. And we thumb walk up each track between the toes as we travel back the other way. And then to finish off, we thumb walk using both thumbs and crisscross across the whole of the chest area. And that is how we work our diaphragm, our heart and our lungs.